Everyone, it's Fubonic Zombie. Welcome to. <laughs> You're stuck. I'm stuck too. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> help me and I'll help you. I guess I can't speak. Find my trunk. Find my key. Solve the mystery. Set me free. My powers to appear are limited, but I can always help you through my raven. So anyway, hello everyone. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Bobonic Zombie, and this is Midnight Mysteries: The Edgar Allan Poe Conspiracy. Now, this is the first in three uh, Midnight Mysteries games. And again, I was trying to talk earlier, but I didn't know that it was just one long sequence. So let me enter my name here. Oh, it sounds like a typewriter. Go. Invitation, Midnight, Westminster Hall, Baltimore, Maryland. This could be the case I've been waiting for, and maybe even an end to this infernal writer's block if I can solve the mystery. So according to the paper that we saw earlier that I've been on a writer's block for 10 years. Okay, I click on an object on the list, the line shows me what it looks like. This will be a big help in locating clues. Okay. Oh, that's neat. It has the silhouette. Centennial. Okay, let me see if I can turn down this volume. So the premise to this game is that we are uh, looking for what happened to Edgar Allan Poe and how he died. Fun fact, in actuality, no one knows exactly how Edgar Allan Poe died. There have been several theories out there, but nothing that has been confirmed. And the premise of this game, uh, he was murdered. So I know that's one of the working theories that people have about Edgar Allan Poe is that he was murdered. Um, some people say he died because of intoxication, um, like alcohol poisoning, but no one's really sure. But the premise of this game is going along with the fact that oh, I like how the Raven is animated, that he was murdered. Okay. Dr. John Moran. This invitation is cut open. I'll keep the name in my suspect list for now. Oh yeah, we're trying to find um find out who murdered him. This kick is a clue. Looks like the invitation was for a birthday today. Okay, so I need to scrub this off. Born January 19th, 1809. Murdered. Okay, that's interesting. October 7th, 1849. Murdered! Someone has a strong opinion. Maybe Poe wants me to solve his murder and bring some truth to light. Okay. Midnight Mysteries, Edgar, the Edgar Allan Poe Conspiracies Notes. At midnight, I was visited by the ghost of Edgar Allan Poe. He said, you're stuck, I'm stuck too. Help me and I'll help you. Find my trunk, find my key. Solve the mystery, set me free. My powers appear are limited, but I can always help you through my raven. This could be the, the case I need to break my writer's block and get my career moving again. What to do next? I'm going to go further into the cemetery to search for clues that will lead me to Poe's trunk and the keys that open it. Collect any raven I see. They are here to give me hints. Okay, this is, um... Okay, it says... 
and clicking the object in the list to see what it looks like in the lantern, if the black cat gets mad, it will scare the raven away. Okay, I guess it's for like if I start randomly clicking on stuff. Clues. Okay, so we have the invitation, his birth and his death, and a birthday cake. The clues tell me the 200th anniversary of Poe's birth is very special. Okay, if that's the case, then this takes place in 2009. Murder is in the mix, so this party has just begun. Suspect, Dr. John Moran. Okay. This blue light looks like a clue leading me to the next stop. I should follow it. I <laughs> like the little finger hand moving. Gets are open, I can go right to the cemetery. Oh. Do not interfere. The dead and their secrets are exactly where they belong. Something takes a dim view of staring up the pass. This door is sealed tight. These pictures are funerary symbols. I better take a look at the gravestones around the cemetery. Okay, possess that head. Prisoner bracelet, you mean shackles? Charcoal to transfer the symbols to paper. Oh, you make rubbings. Not everything here, time to leave this place. Okay. So far, it's very linear. Here's the butterfly. Here's the hourglass. Hand. Here's the angel. That was the angel with the little tear. Okay. So we need There's a skull. Here's Anchor. Okay, here we go. Next. Okay, so... So I have to change them to where they... Okay, nice little chime. And an anchor. Okay. Right. Someone didn't want me to get past those gates. Time to find what they wanted to hide. Let's see, scrub this off. Oh, we have a face etching. Now I need to find a newspaper. Okay, let's uh, rake up this. There we go! 
Poe Toaster Strikes Again. Oh, I heard about this guy. On that guy on Paul's birthday, a mysterious black clad toaster leaves three red roses and a half bottle of cognac on Poe's original grave. This is actually a real life thing that happens um, every year on Poe's birthday. And no one knows who the guy is, and people believe that the guy changes every so often because sometimes he's different in height, different in size, but it's always someone dressed in black that um, gives a toast to Edgar Allan Poe on his grave. At his grave. So close a look at Poe's tombstone. Okay. Let's see. Cut off piece of wire. Find the secret map. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we're toasting to Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, there we go. Ah. Okay, so we found a scroll. Oh, we're just gonna put that in the- Oh, you just messed up the cognac! Excellent, a map. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so you have to find a family crest. Wait, scroll. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a family crest. It's a foot. The Mo Montrezzo motto, no one attacks me with impunity. Interesting. Examine the skeleton. Hello? Do you have lipstick? <laughs> and he has eyelashes. Not a cask. That's it. Okay. Map shows how to find hidden keys. This blue stop must be the street of the starting point. Let's follow the map. Okay, there we go. Okay, last one. Oh boy. One, two, one. Okay. Oh. Hello, just falling randomly. Thank you! Okay. Fort Fortunato key. Smash open the wall. Hi, kitty. That's a big kitty. Okay. Oh, I remember um this story. It's, uh, someone was sti um, plastered up in a wall. They were dressed as a gesture while they were drunk. Oh, secret room. No. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop here for now. This episode go has gone on long enough. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!